BMW X5 was the very first crossover in BMW's sport activity vehicle crossover portfolio. Ever since its debut, it's been a massive hit for consumers seeking out a refined, capable, and luxurious crossover. However, with so many crossovers in the X5's market, is there any reason you should choose the X5? Well, let's go ahead and find out and take a very comprehensive look at this 2018 BMW X5. First off, this is the third generation of BMW's largest and most expensive crossover offering that debuted back in 2014. Styling of the vehicle is elegant, restrained, and sophisticated, which gives it a very identical presence on the road while simultaneously having the signature styling traits for the BMW brand, such as the L-shaped taillights and the kidney grille on the front fascia. This exterior color of the X5 is known as the Alpine White, and you do have smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. And here's the key fob for the vehicle. Pretty good looking key fob design from BMW. And you have your lock unlock to release your, your button to release your trunk. And then also your panic alarm. And our interior color, you'll find the black Sensa Tech leatherette interior. And you have your power adjustable driver's seat with power climb, power lumbar, and your memory seat settings for two people. All right, stepping on inside of the X5, very good looking interior design, fairly lavish and opulent. And you'll also find that the controls also have a very contemporary design too. But not bad looking at all. And you do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start, of course. And what you're hearing there is a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder engine. You have a fully leather wrapped steering wheel with a three spoke design. And coming to your transmission, eight speed automatic. And you just go down for drive like this and up for reverse. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera. And you also do have uh, your front parking sensors as well as your rear parking sensors. And there's many different settings that you could change here. From the brightness, contrast, your parking aid lines, you can turn that on or off if you would like, and your obstacle markings, all that good stuff. And then you just go push for park. Easy as that. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights, as well as the fog lights and the hazards. Let's go and check out the exterior of the X5. All windows are fully automatic in the vehicle. Pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior side mirrors with LED side turn signal indicators. And you have your 19 inch alloy wheels. Beautifully designed. Coming up front here on the X5, you'll find high intensity discharge headlights as well as LED daytime running lights. And right down below, your LED fog lights and you also do have front parking sensors. Powering the X5 is a 3 liter turbocharged 6 cylinder which provides the X5 with fairly spirited performance. Powering the X5 is a 3 liter turbocharged 6 cylinder which provides the X5 Those seeking better performance can opt for the 4.4 liter V8 and the standard engine is BMW's workhorse 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder. EPA estimates you're looking at 18 in the city and 25 on Competitors of the X5, you have vehicles in the mid-size crossover luxury SUV class. This includes the likes of the Audi Q7, and you can also look at the Mercedes-Benz GLE. On top, you also find your satin aluminum side roof rails. And coming to the rear of the X5, LED tail lights with LED turn signal indicators and dual integrated exhaust tips, rear parking sensors, as well as rear reflectors. Of course, we have all of your basic power necessities, including your power windows, power mirrors, which also power fold, and then your power door locks.
Interior quality in the X5 is exemplary and you'll find plenty of soft touch padding in all of the necessary places such as on the armrest, mid door panel, upper door panel and certainly has that German solidity and build quality what you would expect out of the BMW brand and the X5 is just a very well built vehicle I mean impeccable interior quality inside of here coming to the steering wheel design like I said you do have a three spoke steering wheel and on the left side you'll find your cruise control buttons adaptive cruise control is also optional of course and you'll also find your steering wheel mounted audio controls Bluetooth phone controls and your voice recognition the steering wheel also does power tilt and telescope with a pretty good range of adjustment here and up here you'll also find your automatic dimming rearview mirror garage home link and then sunglass container as well as LED map lighting and SOS safety connect linear button for your panoramic move which certainly gives the cabin a much more open airy feel and we have your dual cup holders located down here 12 volt power outlet and right here you'll find your main controls for the iDrive system which I'll get to in just a minute and then we have your electronic parking brake your automatic brake hold feature and your traction control off and your adjustable driver selectable modes you can go into basically four different modes you have your eco pro comfort sports and sports plus and then down here you'll find your parking sensors as well as your downhill descent control Decent amount of center console storage too, not too bad. And you'll find your USB charging port, auxiliary input, as well as another 12 volt power outlet. There goes your glove box compartment. Coming to the climate controls here, we do have tri-zone automatic climate control for this vehicle, but dual up front, of course. And we have your adjustable fan speed levels, your also your temperatures, and then your front window defroster, rear window defroster, and you can also synchronize the temperatures. And then you also do have your uh, adjustable zones too and then you have your three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger and your presets are located right down here for the radio as well as your optical disc drive and then you can also s select your different bands too and let's get to the infotainment system and the main head unit now this is the iDrive system and the controls are located right down here and it's also a touchscreen too which is pretty cool and BMW has done it have that in the past but it's pretty easy to use and fairly intuitive and coming to your media and radio all your different audio sources do include the norm here including AM FM XM satellite radio auxiliary input CD player with your optical goods drive Bluetooth streaming audio and then you also do have your screen mirroring too and then tone where you can adjust the balance treble fader all that good stuff and you can hook up to multiple Bluetooth devices onto the system what's also pretty convenient is this back button here when selecting between the different menus and then your communication which will have your contacts recent calls dialed by number manage mobile devices BMW roadside assistance your memos and your personalize your menu then navigation where you can enter in your destination by voice if you would like and you can view your recent destinations and then you have your map where you can uh, get a Google Earth like type view if you like but pretty cool here and then you have your live traffic all that good stuff you can change the different views of the map and then turn the voice instructions on or off too and then display what map content you would like on there but pretty good quality of the map here very crisp and clear and then your connected drive, which will feature Park Now, Flickr, My News, Yelp, Wiki, Local, Weather, which will give you a forecast. And you can also change the location. And then your My Vehicle, which there's many different settings that you can change from the lighting, the doors, and the keys. You can set your speed warning, parking, driving mode, your climate functions, vehicle tracking. And then your iDrive settings. You can change. Uh, Change your mobile devices, language, your touchpad too, and then vehicle status, which will show you things like your tire pressure monitoring system, engine oil level, and service that's required, and then technology in action, and your onboard owner's manual and your driving information, and then your notifications. And in the upper right hand corner, you also do have your digital clock. But overall, 
The iDrive system is fairly easy to use and intuitive and it has excellent graphics and rendering. Coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster here, pretty much typical BMW styled gauges, very traditional. And on the left side, you'll find your fuel gauge, of course, and then your speedometer, and on the right, your tachometer, as well as your oil temperature. And in the center there, you'll also find your exterior temperature readout, as well as your fuel gauge and your trip odometer. And it'll also display what driver mode you're in. Seats in the X5 are excellent and you'll find that they're fairly comfortable and great for long road trips and pretty well supportive too and thigh support is also exquisite. Visibility out of the vehicle is also pretty good. Lots of glass area on the front windows, tons of uh, glass area through the windshield as well and the A-pillars are also fairly narrow. And seeing out of the rear is pretty good too. Lots of glass area throughout there. Interior quality does follow through in the rear, still plenty of soft touch padding on the armrest, mid-door panel, and upper door panel. And you'll also find adjustable headrests for all three seats. And sitting back here in the X5, there's also a decent amount of leg room, and headroom is pretty good too. And you'll also find your dual map pockets, rear air vents, as well as your automatic climate control in the rear, as well as 12, two 12-volt 12 power outlets. And then the rear center armrest with cup holders. Seats themselves are pretty comfortable back here too. All right. And you also do have your power lift gate. Plenty of cargo space back here. And you also do have your cargo cover. And the rear seats do fold down, 60-40 split. And you'll also find your 12 volt power outlet back here as well. And what's pretty cool is that if you want to have a little tailgate party, you can. So with its excellent performance,